Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So it sounds a bit echoey right now because I am actually in my bathroom. I just wanted to come here and do like a whole taking care of myself kind of pamper quarantine vlog for you guys i had no i haven't vlogged in a hot minute so yeah i'm back with a vlog so yeah if you're new here hi hello my name is lisa and welcome don't forget to subscribe so yeah today i'm starting off this vlog with my long awaited skincare routine i've been getting so many questions recently on my skin i thought i would just finally come here and show you guys my skincare routine i have all my bits that i'm going to be using so my cleanser my facial washes um serums and all of that jazz i keep on looking at my phone because this miami 2021 group chat will not rest yeah, i thought i would just come here and do like a kind of vogue inspired you know kind of skincare routine got my nice robe on this is from pretty little thing so i've actually already had a shower and brushed my teeth and all that jazz i usually would do my skincare routine in the shower like washing my face and all of that so yesterday i actually wore makeup and i took off my makeup but i only used my cellar water and used my cotton pads because I was just so tired and by the time I took off my makeup it was like 2am in the morning. I want to make sure that I thoroughly, thoroughly cleanse my skin this morning. My favourite cleanser of choice which I've been using for years and years now, probably since I was in third year, like no actually second year, is the Bio Charcoal Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. My first cleanser of choice especially if I've worn makeup the day before which I have and I want to make sure all the makeup gets off my skin so i like to apply like two and a bit pumps like this and then rub it into my skin clean 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 and if you guys don't already know about the 60 second rule that how you should basically have this on your face or be cleaning your face with your cleanser for no less than 60 seconds and that properly like gets all the dirt and washes your face properly and i've definitely seen the difference when i started doing that 60 second thing So I'm now going to wash this off, especially if I've worn makeup the night before, the evening before, even if I thoroughly cleanse my skin the evening before, I still like to double cleanse in the morning just to make sure everything is good. So my new absolute favourite product in my skincare routine is this Kills Ultra Facial Cleanser. I've been hearing so many good things about Kills skincare and I was like you know what should I try it should I not it was always just a tad bit overpriced for me just a tad but I was like you know what to hell with it that's what i've been doing a lot recently with skincare because i just want my skin to look good so i guess in a way you can say i've been a bit more bougie and spending a bit more money on my skincare because i feel like you can see the difference okay ultra facial cleanser i only picked up the 75 ml just so that way if it didn't really go well with my skin then i haven't wasted a whole big bottle i like to use this day and night because it's just a really really good cleanser leaves my skin feel like really smooth and just really clean so i've got it all over my hand and then i'm just gonna apply that all over my face
So in the morning, in terms of cleansing, that is pretty much all I do to my skin. You don't want to strip away your skin of everything it has. So then I go ahead, do toner, moisturizer, serum, sunscreen, and all of that jazz. Usually after I wash my face and have a shower, I usually let my skin air dry. I do not use a towel. I do not use a microfiber cloth. I just leave it and I just feel like that just works. Mm. Um, my skin has now mostly dried, air dried. So the first thing I like to go in is with toner. Absolute favorite toner at the moment is the Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. And I absolutely love, love this toner. Beforehand, I was using um, a pixie toner, the glycolic acid one. I went to an esthetician, as they call it, a skin person, a skin specialist, and she basically told me to stop using that, that it was basically stripping my skin of oils, oils, and my skin was becoming like really, really dry for somebody who has oily, oily skin. So she was like, I should basically just try and use rose water as a toner so that is what i've been doing and i've been going back and forth from different toners try and find the right one but this is my favorite so far i just feel like it's so soft and just like so smooth and nice on my skin and at the same time it feels really hydrating as well so i just take the toner and just rub it all over my skin it just feels so Good. And then my new favorite, favorite, favorite thing in my skincare routine. I would say this is maybe Holy Grail. Crystal recommended this and she basically said it kind of cleared up her skin in like a week. And I was like, that sounds like a miracle product to me. I need to try it. It's the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And it's got salicylic acid i never know how to say that properly for everything that i'm going to mention in this skincare routine this is definitely a product you go you need to go out and try i actually got mine from amazon and it was 13 pounds but i do believe you can actually buy it off the paula's choice website for eight pound and you can get the tester and free delivery for eight pound i only know that because obviously i've been like researching it a lot so the fbi agent in my phone kept on bringing up ads on my Instagram for that little deal that Paula's Choice was doing. So I thought I would just let you guys know so you could try that. So I'm just gonna take it on a cotton pad. And I thought it would be like really harsh on my skin and like, just like give me that tingling kind of feeling. Like, I don't know, but it's absolutely the opposite of that. It feels so good and it smells really good as well. After I've done that, I'm now going to apply a serum because we absolutely love serums day, night, evening, afternoon, whenever. Serums are just so good for the skin. They bring that extra added hydration and they just let your skin be great, okay? Serums are for the bougie babes and I expect that everybody, everybody, every single person man or woman is bougie with your skin like that's the only skin you're gonna get but kai actually recommended this serum this is the glow recipe pineapple sea bright serum how cute is this bottle please just squeeze some liquid in the pump and then i just put it on my face a little goes a long way because this serum is like really really thick so you actually really don't need that much at all and i just smooth it pat it into my So after we've done that, we're going to go in with moisturizer. I never skip moisturizing. Whatever goes on my face that day has to be some sort of moisturizer and some sort of sunscreen. Like I will not go without. The moisturizer I'm gonna use is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And I do believe they actually have a moisturizer and then they have a facial cream. I just like to take my finger. Oh, that's too much. And then 
forehead, cheeks, chin, and then I like to use the rest for my neck. Don't forget to moisturize your neck and then just rub. And at this point, my skin just feels silky smooth. <laughs> I don't know what this does but i see loads of like people with great skin do this now we've put the moisturizer on we're now going to do the last step of my morning skincare routine and that is a sunscreen psa do not go without sunscreen do not do it because you are only playing yourself especially for my babes with uneven skin tone with acne scarring and all of that jazz you are only playing yourself if you do not have a sunscreen whether you're out in the sun 24 7 or not whether you live in a hot country you still need a sunscreen every day that you wake up every day that you go outside in some way or form the sun is hitting your skin whether it's raining that day or not there's some uv rays getting onto your skin and you need to protect your skin from that your acne scars will get darker your hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone will just continue to get worse so always 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 wear sunscreen i hope i've made myself clear okay always wear sunscreen i use the la roche posay anthelos is that what it's called 50 plus spf sunscreen so i literally just apply it onto my skin like so the skincare routine i have right now has definitely really improved the appearance of my skin i've been the most confident about my bare face that i have been in a long time like, completely unprofessional but I'm not them. Hi guys, today is the 6th of May and it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Today I thought I would sit down here with you and basically do my nails with you guys. So basically I ordered an acrylic liquid and powder set from Edge Nails. Then I ordered a drill from Amazon. Then I ordered a dryer if that's what it's called also from amazon for all of those things i will leave the link down below i wanted to actually do my own acrylics at home because as you can see um yeah they're really really bad so currently i have three off on this nail and then one off on this nail i have never done that before ever in life and it's pretty much a first time for everything so i'm really hoping it goes well kind of semi practiced on this nail and then i cut it down i'm not entirely pleased with the shape but you know what I realized that it's not gonna be nail salon perfect, is it? I mean, I'm gonna try. The nail shop ladies, nail shop artists, they deserve their credits. They deserve the money that they ask for. Even I'm thinking the money they ask for is even small because the skill that it takes to do this is really a lot. Or maybe I'm just saying that because I've never done it before. So I've pretty much got everything that I need here. I bought some gel nail polish from the brand dnd hopefully i finish by the end of today because i want to film a video tomorrow and i want my nails done for the video okay just been chilling relaxing all day watching the ozark so i'm almost finished with that quite upsetting <laughs> I'm just going to take the acrylic powder and then the monotone or whatever the hell is called, the acrylic liquid. with it.
turn that down for y'all do i look like a crazy person right now i most definitely look like a crazy person right now today is the 8th of may and it's about 4 30 in the evening I'm coming to you with my gel braids looking messy as hell that is because i am basically coming to you guys today to basically do my natural hair care routine with you guys well there's i don't really have much of a routine i kind of just like wash and do my hair when it gets dirty i'm basically i'm taking out my hair right now from the cane rose well I'll wash my hair and do all of that good stuff but actually my sister's gonna do it for me because yeah i think the last time i washed his hair was five weeks ago I have a natural hair care routine. I just kind of look after my hair when I feel like I need to, which is really, really bad. But comment down below if you have that same relationship with your natural hair. Also, Care Care sent me some of their natural hair care products um, to try out. So I thought I would just try them out with you guys in this video. I've heard a lot of good things about Terra Care hair products pretty much the state of my natural hair right now is just very somewhat dry and kind of brittle which obviously would kind of promote damage and breakage because it's so dry but i just i just cba so there's also that but i'm going to try to at least pretend like I care and look after my hair. I also get a bit fed up because I feel like my hair doesn't really grow all that fast, which it probably would if I looked after it, but there you go. taken out my hair now and my sister's about to like detangle it and wet it and all of that good stuff before we wash it but before i did that i just wanted to quickly come here to show you guys the bits that care care sent me so the first thing we have is this care care natural textures twist and define cream it smells really good and then we have the care care natural textures deep moisturizing mask so i think i'm gonna use this after i've shampooed my hair so then they sent me the care care natural textures leave-in conditioner so yeah i'll probably actually put this on after i finish doing everything 
Then they sent me the Caracare Natural Textures Cleansing Cream Sulfate Free Moisturizing Curl Wash. They also sent me the Caracare Styling Wax. What I'm first going to start off with is this Caracare Cleansing Cream. I usually always wash my hair in sections just so it's easier, less tangling. Okay guys, so I've just got out of the bathroom and I finished um, washing my hair. It's about um, 6.46 in the evening. How long did it take me to wash my hair? Like 45 minutes? Maybe half an hour? So I'm now going to be using the Cara Care Deep Moisture Rising Mask. And I just put my hair in a t-shirt because that is the only way i allow my hair to dry because like i said i don't like to use a towel so like guys can you just see um uh, where the line of demarcation that was called <laughs> the line where my frontal stops like my frontal takes that much of my forehead that's crazy so my battery is literally about to die soon what time is it yeah it's just past 10 o'clock and i finished filming i've just been sitting around doing nothing for the past couple of hours so i could have done this ages ago but hey ho i'm doing it now because i wanted to end the vlog today and edit it so it can go out this week so yeah basically i finished filming the video i had to film today i'm about to go into the bathroom and do my evening skincare routine for you guys but i thought while i was at it i'll just quickly show you guys some bits that i've been picking up from zara they're just like real basic stuff but i just wanted to quickly include it for you in this haul and i'm just going to stop talking and show you guys the stuff i got from zara it's not a lot of stuff like i said they're all basic items but i wanted to just just show you guys quickly anyway so this is the first thing i got and this is basically just a really nice cute racer back cropped vest it's in this gorgeous neon color i basically seen this in crystal's zara haul she like did a cute zara haul of the, all these cute tops the color looks so nice on her so i thought if it looks nice on her it's gonna look nice on me so yeah i just picked it up i thought it was just really really cute i like it and it was only 3.99 then i went ahead and picked up the black version because why not basically and i feel like during summertime i never have basics i always have like dressy items but i never have just basics just to throw on with a pair of jeans and just be going picked up the black version again it was only 3.99 i got both tops in a small and yeah i just feel like they fit really nicely and if we ever do get freedom and able to go outside these will be really nice things to wear okay so this is the next thing i got and obviously it doesn't go with these zara shorts but it's this really gorgeous pretty bodysuit it's a thin strap of bodysuit and i love me a thin strap and it's in this gorgeous like nude color and again i just thought it would be just an absolute staple for summer to put this on with a pair of jeans a pair of shorts and you're literally good to go and i really love the color i feel like it complements my skin tone really well so on to the next thing is this bodysuit 
bodysuit that everybody and their mum has and it's this holds her neck bodysuit that's what they call it on the Zara website but yeah it's just a bodysuit in this like really nice thick spandex material it's like really body hugging and nice and yeah I don't know why I've been waiting so long to get this bodysuit but now I have it it's here I got it in a size small it was $12.99 I really want to get the nude one though but the nude small was out of stock so I'll wait for that to come back in stock this is the last things I have to show you so one of them is this gorgeous gorgeous stone bodysuit it looks white because it's dark right now but it's actually not white it's in this gorgeous stone color I don't know whether you guys can see that. I basically saw this on a babe on Instagram and YouTube and I absolutely fell in love. Like I literally just copied her whole, whole outfit. So then I went to go and get the leggings she was wearing to match. And these are called the, these are called being high rise. And I wish I could like, let me step back. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see that there's this really nice, gorgeous, very well fitting pair of high high waist leggings slash trousers and they're like super super long come down at a split at the back of the trouser and they fit really well and they're just so body sculpting I just really 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 love them and there's just the two of these together is just everything so I got this bodysuit in a size small then I got these leggings in a size small so yeah there's extra small small medium large and extra large you definitely want to size down with those and they just fit me perfectly like so so nicely I wish I could like pan down and show you guys but we ain't finna do all that today I picked up these sliders that I'm wearing and they're these gorgeous Marbu feather slippers and they look like this and basically I'd seen them on a girl on Instagram and I just had to cop they're just absolutely stunning and then afterwards I saw them on Yvonne Victoria and I was like yeah I definitely made the right choice they are so so pretty and when we have freedom these are going to be on my feet non-stop they're actually from the homeware department in Zara like Zara home I could only buy them on the actual Zara Home app. So we're gonna get straight into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, I look like an absolute mad person, but let's get into it. Oh my gosh, I forgot the main thing. Jesus. So, um, when it comes to the night time, removing makeup is a key. The most gentle way to remove my makeup. Makeup wipes are not good for you, apparently. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So when I need to use makeup wipes, I do. But when I have time and when I'm not tired, I like to go in with these two bad boys. I don't use these at once. I usually use the Garnier Skin Active Micellar oil infused cleansing water and that's when I can't be bothered to go in with my cleansing balm and I just want to remove my makeup quick quick but you know without using makeup wipes so I usually use this with some cotton pads it says it's for dry sensitive skin but I really love it for my skin because it just kind of removes all the makeup without stripping my skin today we're going to go in with the cleansing balm and this is the number seven nourishing cleansing balm and this is what I use to remove my makeup this is basically a dupe for the the make take the day off balm it's literally the same thing as much as i'd love to be buying that all the time it's literally like 20 something pounds so when i could get this for like 13 pounds i believe we'll take up the lashes wow some days the bonding glue really wants to misbehave and yes I use bonding glue judge me if you like I'm gonna put my hand in this and I'm just gonna rub it all over my face and start to remove that makeup I 
different things that I use, especially when I've been wearing makeup all day or part of the day, which is usually most days because I'm like always filming. Usually I like to go in with my bio charcoal deep cleanser just because I feel like this just gets everything off and I like just use it day and night pretty much all the time but today I'm gonna go in with this Kiehl's cleanser just because I've been trying out for the past two weeks sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't so I'm gonna just keep on trying it out for like two weeks straight and see the results when I went to the Kiehl's store and I was telling her I was looking for products and I told her I had oily skin. She recommended me this. She told me not to get this one, which is the one I use in the morning, but to get this one. So she gave me a test off, so I'm using it anyway. It's the Kiehl's Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Cleanser. And apparently it is for, it's for oily skin. So I'm just gonna take all of the and rub all over my face. I must say though, it like smells really good. I always go down my neck as well because, girl, I'm always dragging foundation on my chin and my neck. As you can see, I feel like it's removed most of everything. But when we're makeup, because not only does makeup get onto your skin, it gets in your pores as well and all of that jazz. And we want to make sure there's none of that. It's really, really important to always double cleanse or triple cleanse. Depending on the day I have, I might triple cleanse that's a bit extra. So I usually just double cleanse. I'm going to be using the Glow Pot Antibacterial Honey Face Wash and this. I'm going to be ranting and raving about and they basically sent this to me in PR and girl they sent it to me like a good couple weeks ago now and I've been using it ever since I kind of broke the squirty thing that came with it but it's okay because I just open it anyway and it's just so so good I don't know if you guys know this you know, like last year summer I started to get these like really tiny white spots all over my face I think they were fungal spots I really don't know what they were called but the esthetician that I went to basically explained to me that I'm either reacting to something I tried loads of things and it was just like day after day they keep on just coming back they still come back now but ever since i've been using this antibacterial thing they have been at bay like loads before i wake up in the morning do 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 all over my face it just smells so good so i just open it like this and i just put it all over honey i really really love this face wash I just really, really enjoy using that cleanser. I just love me some glow part, honey. They're just really, really good. Even after I use it, my skin still feels at peace. Like sometimes some of the products I'll be using after I like finish washing my skin, my skin is just doing pop pop to the pop pop, douche, 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 douche. Like just bare is going on. Like when I remove my makeup, when I wash my face, I want my face to feel smooth, hydrated, and at peace. Just tranquilo, okay? Tranquilo, tranquilo. I've been watching too much money heist. But um, yeah, just gonna let that dry a little bit, and then we're gonna go in with some toner, and it's the same toner I was using this morning, my Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and rose water toner i'm going to be using my eye cream and this is the origins 
the Orangins Gin Zing Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and deep half. Everybody and their mama raves about this, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it. I haven't been using it for that long, so I will let you guys know. Do that anyway, and you're always supposed to use. Is this your ring finger? I don't know. Uh, where you're always supposed to use this finger and dab. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. Take and a dab. Looking okay, for a good eye cream for quite some time now. You guys know the gist with my eyes. I have really dark under eyes and not only do i have dark under eyes but they're deep set as well so it's even worse we've got three serums here we've got the kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate and i absolutely love this i've been using this for over a year now it's definitely a holy grail then we have the glow pot marula oil facial just break it, why don't you, Lisa? The Glowpot Marula Oil Facial Serum. Again, I think I've been using this for a year. They sent me another one in PR, and I think they changed the bottle as well, but this is just mwah, gold. And then we have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is the 7ml, it says it is. I thought it was even 10. And I'm just gonna apply that to my face. Then I'm gonna go in with my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And I just absolutely love this. It just feels like heaven on the skin. Every time I rub this into my skin, like, I don't know, it feels like I'm walking into a field of daisies or lavender. Then I'm gonna go in with my Glow Pot Marula Oil Facial Serum. And this stuff is just gosh, that's kiss. Yeah. Finally, I'm going to go into my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and we're just going to use the tiniest bits ever and that is just to like lock everything in. You guys let me know, do you put moisturiser before serum or after serum? Like, am I doing it wrong? I'm not sure my face is very shiny, but I feel like if you've done your skincare routine and you go to bed and your face is not shiny, did you really do your skincare routine? Did you really do your skincare routine? So like, oh, oh, I can just get into bed and just be at one with myself. <laughs> Guys, so that is the end of this vlog. It's been a long day, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into this vlog. There will definitely be more vlogs like this out very, very soon. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I actually haven't said we hit 30k guys. Let me know down below if you want me to do a 30k giveaway. Everything that needs to be linked will be in the description box down below so do not forget to check that out. Let me know down below whether you enjoyed this type of vlog or not. Just a real chill, slow, lax, relax oh, kind of vlog. Okay. I'm signing off and signing out here and there will be another vlog very very soon so do watch out for that. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.